Now then YouTube, I'm the Toffman and welcome back to some more Luton Town Manager Mode. Well guys, we are back and we are against Blackpool in today's episode guys. I think we are away. I don't know if we are or not, but I'm pretty sure they're absolutely pants. Yes, they're right the way down there. You would think it would be an easy game, but I know FIFA, guys, and there are no easy games. So, um, uh, Lee Kuhn Ho, there was something came up here about Lee Kuhn Ho's dry spell. He hasn't scored all season. A couple of, uh, one of your comments was saying, oh no, keep, you know, he scored 30 odd goals last season. Keep the faith in him, he'll come good eventually. When? When is it is the question that's got to be asked right there? When will this guy come good? Um, now we've just got to wait a little bit, and then I'll see you for the Blackpool game. Oh, ho, 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 Gerard Bam is come back from injury. That is fantastic news. We finally got our guys back. All right, guys, that is going to be the team that's going to be facing off against Blackpool. We've got three people of our entire front line there who are out on international duties. A little bit annoying, but. It happens, of course. So we've got Chimachuku and Avanasi partnering up front with Fernandez and Barmy Army on that left-hand side. And here we are, guys. Look at that. The rain is coming down at Moulton Road. Blackpool versus Luton Town. They are right down in the table. We are right up in the table. Surely it should be cut and dry. Well, not so much dry in today's uh, weather. But surely it should be cut and dry. I doubt that somehow. I think Blackpool will have something to say about that. Oh, Jorgen Gunter, great challenge there. Let's put the ball forwards now, and look at this run here from uh, Chima Chukwu. Oh, Chima Chukwu broke through that back line. And the near post glitch, because that's all you can call it, guys. The amount of times you can score on that near post is utterly ridiculous. Well done, EA Sports, on that front, by the way. And here we are. We've taken the lead in the first six minutes. Five minutes, probably, even that. Look at the rain, man. The rain is terrible. But look at that. What a goal from Chima Chukwu. Too easy for him. It's just towards nobody, really. Near post. Oh, he's nearly fucking got the glitch in there. Oh, for God's sake, we fucking control. It's always running out of battery nowadays, guys. That's the only downside about fucking PS4s. What the fuck? What? Why? Why do they do this all the time? They go to jump out of people's way, but what? look at that. What exactly is he doing? No football player in the right mind would just jump out of a challenge like that. Jorgen Gunter from way out. That's a good shot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Jorgen Gunter. Barmy Army. That's a good ball, that. Chima Chukwu turns on the inside. It's Chima Chukwu. That deserved two goals there. No, not two goals, but it deserved at least another goal. Stands it up. Avanati. Oh, he can't score. Same with fucking Lee Kuhn. I don't think Avanati scored this season if it's not from the penalty spot. Piovi's got to do the job. And it's selected my other guy. It's selected my other guy from it in the center of defense when I had that covered. Why the fuck did it do that? I will never know. It's Barmy Army. He's gone around his man too, way too easily for him. Oh, it's Barmy Army. Shot. Fucking. They can't finish. My guys are shit. We've had so many opportunities, guys. And unfortunately, the inability to finish the game off. It's costing us at the moment, but it is 1-0, and we are winning at half-time. Tendai Waddington. What the fuck? Are you serious? Fuck me. I was not aiming anywhere near that. I can promise you guys that shit. Well, guys, I have to say, Tendai Waddington is coming off for Gerard Barn, and I think Barmy Army is going to come off for Dagfus. Good start. All they need is one chance. Oh, and Davies has headed that over from Blackpool. That's the chance that they had right there. Practically an open header. Why am I centre-backs not getting on these guys? There he is, Gerard Barn. He turns. 
Lines up a shot. Shoots! Oh, ho, ho, Gerard Ban! Nearly ripped my PS4 off the screen there. But that must have been close from Gerard Ban as soon as he comes back. That was an F. It was an F and a half. He left the goalkeeper standing. Gerard Ban! Cheers for Chima What a save from Paris! What a fantastic save! Really, that guy has kept Blackpool in it because that is an effort and a half, that is. But what a save. Luke Ayling. Oh, he's managed to win it back as well. In towards Avenatti. And look at the space now. Chima Chuck, who does a lot. Nice little ball over the top. Dagfus, straight at Parrish. Anywhere else but straight at him, and that would have been a fantastic goal. This is bullshit. The fuck do they feed these guys in the 80th minute? Nile Ranger. They don't deserve anything from this game. Panera. Can't even keep hold of the fucking thing. And then, just out-muscled. That was Blackpool's chance there. And you, you can't do anything. It's bullshit time, guys. It's absolute bullshit time. Your players just suddenly get shit. Yes, there's the full-time whistle. There was, uh, it, it looked closer than it was. 1-0 was not a scoreline that we deserved from that at all. We deserve so much more goals for that. Their goalkeeper, again, on absolute form today. Some of the shots straight at him, but were you waiting to see how many chances I had? A Blackpool in the last five fucking minutes suddenly get steroid injections or some shit. And that's three points. Look at that. 20 shots, 16 on target. Blackpool, three shots, one on target. We deserve so much more from that game. So much more. Next up is Birmingham. And this is the team that's going to be facing off against Birmingham today. We've got Bolly back after that uh, international duty. We've got Tendai Wadyton and Gerard Barn playing along the middle there. It's going to be fantastic to see those guys playing together once again. Um, Piovic Star is back in defence. Moreira is back in goal. Wheeler and Ailing across the, uh, the, the back defence there. We should have a pretty decent game, I think. We should have a pretty decent game. Birmingham are all the way down in 18th place, guys, with only 17 points to their name. We are up into third. How amazing is that? However, we've got a home game today. And, uh, well, we're hoping for another win. Welcome to our second game of this episode. Luton Town versus Birmingham City. Can we get another win? Can we keep this run going? That's two games on the bounce now. And can Lee Kyun Ho get his first goal? Of League One, no Championship, not League One, guys. League One, he scored 35 goals. Now he needs to. He hasn't even scored one yet. Come on, Lee Kun Ho. Oh, Gerard Barn with a nice shot there, but unfortunately, it's just over the top of the bar. Gerard Barn. Oh, he was getting into shooting position. He's still in shooting position. Gerard Barn. Oh, he's in the beans. What a shot from Gerard Barn. That is why I needed him back. What an effort it was. The bend on that bastard was more than can be known. On again, Gerard Barn. Fucking, he's got me speechless, that man. I'm so glad he's back. Oh, here we come, Birmingham. Space now. Still some space. Cottrell with a shot, and that is just wide of that left-hand post for Birmingham. They're knocking on the door. Oh, no. Oh, come on. It just so happens. I can't. When I clear the ball, when they clear the ball, it fucking goes miles. When I clear the ball, it drops right to their feet inside my own area. It's poor. Once again, it's James Collins. It can't be fucking James Collins, that. Nah, bullshit. Unbelievable. Near post. No post glitch. Bastards. <laughs> it's 1-0 Birmingham. Story. Bolly. Oh, saved by Doyle. Can anything... Why do we get fucking goalkeepers that are absolutely on form? Don't, what a save that is. Still Gerard Barn with a shot on. Oh, it's just wide. Gerard Barn, come on. Tendai Warrington. Oh, fucking. 
What are these keepers on? Piove. It's Tendai. He's just going to stand it up. Bamiani! The shortest guy on the pitch wins a fucking header. EA Logic. But it's one all. <laughs> it's one all, and I'll take it just before half time. He stood that up really nicely there. How on earth can Barmy Army win these headers and the likes of Avenatti and James Collins just get barged off the ball? Look at it. He's glitching all out, all over the fucking. doing the robot dance in the middle of doing his header. It's half time, guys, and the current score is one all. Now, there's something I've noticed in between, you know, when I've been playing this. My midfielders are being totally outnumbered. The likes of Gerard Barn and Tendai Waddington, yes, they might be getting some long shots on, but they haven't got the space, and that's because the front four are being taken up by the back four. And then the midfield four, you've got two people on each of our midfielders, and that is something that's becoming a real issue. It is becoming a real issue. Um... Because we just don't have the room for the likes of Gerard Bann and Tendai Waddington to go ahead and, and get the space. Um, although, they just need to be a little... Look, they're just right on you straight away. So I don't know if... I, I might need to change my formation again. The 4 2 4 works better, like, for me, for scoring. But I, I just don't get anything with my uh, with my midfielders. Collins. Lee Kuno picks it up. He's gone round one man. He's gone into the box. Lee Kuno! Oh, and he's hit the beans! Lee Kuno just cannot score. Holy shit, he ran straight into the box there and smashes it against the beans. Oh, fucking bullshit. He shouldn't have fucking passed it there. That was a bad, bad fucking choice, that. Oh, and that's right. That's wide of the right post. He should not have passed that. He had tons of space to go into. But he passed it to the wing. And it just broke the move down a little bit for me able to get my, my players back. That could have been an opportunity there for Birmingham. Oh, Gerard Barn. Gerard Barn! Hey! Gerard Barn is back on the scorers list in his first full game back. And that could prove a very important goal. There they go. Here they go. There's been so much added time already. You know what time it is. Yeah, fucking nobody. Just get it. Get on it. Fuck. How much added time do you want? It's been like 20 minutes. Fucking bullshit. Honestly. Look. And now he blows the whistle. <laughs> It's a joke sometimes. When it gets to the last 10 minutes, it's an absolute joke. Stats doesn't matter with your players. Don't give a flying fuck about your players with the stats. No stats whatsoever. All goes out the window in the last 10 minutes, guys. All goes out the window. But we held on, and we held on well to a 2-1 victory, a hard victory against Birmingham. And uh, next is the last game in this particular episode. I don't know who it's against yet, but we're going pretty well at the moment. We are going pretty well. Look at that for a shot. That was fantastic, Gerard Barn. Typical Gerard Barn. And there you go, guys. 15 shots. Only six of those on target. They had more possession. They had, well, more shots on target. Look, for fucking, for a start. Well, you know what I mean. Shots to goal ratio. Two shots on target. One goal. What a surprise there. Could have been more. Could have been more as well. And should have been more. Some of the... Look at the spin. Fucking... If that had gone in, that would have been insane. Anyway, guys. I'll see you for the next game. Well, guys. We've got our game away against Burnley. Where are they in the table? We're up in second now. That is madness. All it takes is a couple of losses, though. And we drop back out. Burnley are in ninth place. I've got a feeling this might be another difficult match. Especially away from home. We might hit them on the break, though. However... I have decided to go back to my old formation to see whether or not it will free up some space in the middle for Ban to, to have a whack of. Um, it would be very nice if that was the case. But we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. But that is the team that's going to be facing off against Burnley today. Final game of this episode is away at Burnley Turf Moor. My goodness gracious me. This one is going to be a tough one. Oh, look at the space now he's got on that right hand side nightly. Turns on the inside. He's got plenty of room. Everybody's on their own foot. A fucking save there from Panera. And then Bolly blasts it clear. 
Oh, the space. Now he's got it. Oh, and it's just wide there. But Burnley have had me all over the place. I haven't even had an effort yet, I don't think. They shouldn't call them one-on-ones. They should call them you losers. Oh, Gerard Barnes picks it up here. Gerard Barnes! How the hell does the keeper save these? Especially from that angle. Oh, that is a brilliant save. Gerard Barn could have got us the lead there. It's half time, guys. In this first half, nothing really of note. There's a couple of shots for me. Most of the efforts are from Burnley. And uh, again, I'm one of these games where I can't seem to just gel. I cannot seem to just gel. And I don't know whether or not it's because of the formation. Because again, I've gone back to this formation again. So I don't know if that's the case. And um, I just need more room for my attacking mid, Gerard Barn. Fucking get your head out of the way. Oh, Avenatti. He's just lost it. He's just lost everything about him. Couple of substitutions to tell you guys about in this very boring second half. Barmy Army on the left hand side has come on for Mireles. And Chimachuku has come on up front for Avenatti, who really is just shit in, in this season. I don't know what it is. Same with Lee Kuhn Ho. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, here they come now. It wouldn't surprise me if we lose this. And to be honest, we deserve it. We've not played anywhere near as good today. Vokes in the area. Knightley. Backs against the walls. Challenge. Uh, Defence now, and the deflection from Piovi actually takes that out for a corner. I thought it was going to go in that top left-hand corner. Chima Chukwu, lovely ball over the top, but he's just managed to fuck off. That was an easy Jeff. How was that a fucking foul? Are you having a laugh? He punched me in the face. I want to see this shit again. I'm sorry, I want to see this shit again. How is this a foul on my behalf? When he quite clearly fucking elbows me full in the face. How is that a foul? Fucking unbelievable. Unbelievably shit. Gerard Barnes got into a decent area. He turns. Chima Chukwu. Oh, and he's got it at the last. Surely. A smash and grab this is. Because it's been all ba all Burnley. I was going to say Barnsley for some strange reason. Gerard Barn, the instigator of everything. But what a finish there from Shima Chukwu. Still had a lot of work to do. The bend on that was brilliant. Shima Chukwu in a good area down there. Bad, bad, bad. Fucking bad again. The fucking goalkeeper comes out, flying out. And just off the line. And he doesn't even get near the ball. It's like fucking Mignolet. It's not as if Burnley haven't deserved it, though. It's not as if they haven't deserved it. Because, really, they have. They have deserved it. And it's one all now. Well, guys, it's full time. And I think a draw is actually a decent result from this game. Because even though I thought we were going to do the smash and grab where we scored really late on... But it was, it was too early to score, actually, late on. Because then the bullshit starts. And that, why is the goalkeeper coming out for those balls? I have no idea. But that's twice now he's done that. And twice I've been caught by it. It's just, it's disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. But Burnley did deserve it. And a point is a very good result to take from that particular game. Away from home, not playing well. And we scored as well, which is a, an absolute plus. So we'll see where we are in the table and see what's going on for the end of this uh, end of this episode. And there you go, guys. Look at that. Seven shots, five on target for me. Really, half, half of them were Gerard Barn shots from about 50 million yards. And Burnley, six shots, four on target, 53% possession. They deserved it. They absolutely deserved to get something from the game. Well, well, well. The next game coming up is Chelsea. I don't know if we're at, oh no, we're at home. So that's good. Chelsea at home for the Capital One Cup quarter final. And look at that, guys. We've actually moved down one place from second to third. But there is still, it's jam packed up there. If we go on a run of a couple of losses, even a couple of draws, and we will find ourselves dropping right the way down there. But I think that we're pretty safe at the moment. It does feel as if the team is pretty safe for a mid-table finish. And that's still what I'm aiming for, despite being in the playoffs. It'd be interesting to finish in the playoffs, because I don't think I ever have um, on camera. Well, I did, but then I lost in like the first round, I think, with, uh, with York. I don't know if it was York or someone. I can't remember. Anyway, 
I've only once played, uh, you know, playoff matches, and it'd be very good to actually show you guys a playoff to get up towards the, uh, up to the Premier League. But I don't think that our team is anywhere near good enough for the Premier League. We're struggling uh, to really grind out results in the Championship at the moment, and I really want to own the Championship before going up to the Premier League because I think that's the best way of being able to then realise, yes, we're going to be good enough for the Premier League. At this moment, I don't think we are. And you will see next game against Chelsea just how difficult it's going to be. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for the end of this episode. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, please go ahead and leave a like, as always. If you could, that would be amazing. And until next time, I've been the top man, as always. Stay safe. <laughs>